So did everybody enter the group? Did you? Did you? Did you find your group? So. Can we add a six member because she doesn't have a group yet? Not yet? Yeah. Did you register the class? Uh, yes, I asked the teacher assistant. He, uh, he told me that if the prophecy is okay, then we can add her in. Okay. Is it okay? Okay. And now I need uh, uh, one TA because uh, last week uh, Javier uh, added us a TA, but uh, he said he cannot uh, do this job uh, anymore. So I need uh, another TA. So, who want to, you? You want to be a TA? You are IB student? No, HR. HR student, okay, welcome, good. <laughs> so this is our new TA, okay? <laughs> so every group give you a name, right? To her, okay? The all uh, the member name. And you should check uh, which group you can enter or you want to form a new group, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, today, uh, let's uh, come to the chapter one. Uh, this uh, chapter will talk about the globalization of uh, HIM. Why HIM become IHIM, right? A faster driving forces and what's the need, what's the function uh, IHIM should have. So, in this chapter, uh, we will talk about the uh, internalization of the business. Why, why come up the IHIM? Because uh, the internalization of business. Uh, uh, many companies uh, go international. So, when they go global, they need to uh, assign uh, manager work for them. Also, they need to uh, uh, recruit, to develop, to motivate, right? To assess, to uh, retain their local employee. Okay, so this come up the internationalization of human resource management. Uh, so uh, last uh, week we had talked about the content of IHM. Okay, so today we will uh, know what's the driving forces, right? And what's the influencing factor? Then we should know why IHM uh, should support uh, the strategy, the organizational need of the company. Okay, so this is a strategic IHM. Okay, how IHM can support the strategy of uh, international business and to uh, execute uh, this uh, strategy to ensure this uh, strategy uh, can be uh, effective. Okay. Now let's uh, know the fact of the globalization. Uh, who is globalizing? Who? Why? Who? Large company, medium company, or small company? Yeah. And where does this company come from? Developed company or emerging market country? Okay, develop a country or a, a emerging market country. Okay, so who is globalizing? That company? That company, right? That company, right? Yeah. And um, uh, this small company go global? Yeah, yeah. Because they have to divide, diversify their markets and find the cheaper resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when uh, the environment change in a domestic country, right? Then some, even some small com company should go, right? Should go, should go uh, global to find the low cost location, right? For their manufacturing or to find uh, the new market. Yeah. In Taiwan, there are many small companies. Many small companies. These are medium and small companies. And they are very successful. They are very successful. Yeah. And this company, uh, they possess a very uh, uh, wonderful uh, 
technology, uh, especially in terms of the, this uh, manuf manuf manufacturing, manufacturing technology, uh, and some R&D uh, technology. Yeah. So they can uh, manufacture this good, this good quality product. Okay. However, they don't know how to uh, uh, do marketing activity. Uh, so sometimes they need to uh, find a low, a low cost uh, uh, site uh, to manufacture their product and know how to give training to this uh, uh, local uh, employee to ensure their uh, quality uh, product. Okay. So even the small company, right, they can be act as the supplier of the large company, right? The partner, right? The partner of large company. So uh, when this uh, large company go global, they will go together. You know giant, giant, giant bike, bicycle, okay? Do you know? You don't know? This is the, the world number one bicycle company. Giant, yeah, giant. You don't know that? Jida. Do you know? Nobody know. Giant. Okay. This is the Taiwanese company. This company company. Yeah. But this is the number one in the world. Bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. So uh, this company uh, have many uh, supplier partner. Many supplier partner. Right? Maybe uh, more than thousand. Okay. Because all their part. There are many parts, right, in the bicycle uh, to uh, compose the, 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 the bicycle. And so when giant uh, went, went to China, all these uh, small company supplier work together. Right? And they set up their uh, manufacturing site uh, together uh, within the, the same uh, industrial realm, realm right? So they can uh, quickly coordinate together to manufacture uh, this uh, uh, brand new uh, bicycle to, uh, for, uh, for the global market need, okay? So, there are many <laughs> company go global in Taiwan. And do you know why? You know why? Now you international come here, right? Taiwanese company is Taiwanese company is more globalizing than government. <laughs> Not than government. <laughs> okay. Um, 1960. In 1960, the United States, United States become more and more uh, uh, urbanized, right? And so more and more uh, house was located uh, near the, uh, the bourbon, right? Uh, so uh, more and more people, uh, they uh, move to this uh, suburban area and form the new community, right? New community. So many, more and more shopping mall was uh, built up. Uh, in this suburban area, okay? So at that time, uh, uh, this shopping mall, uh, many stores of the shopping mall, they don't manufacture the product by themselves. So they just outsourcing, outsourcing their product. And all this product uh, was um, uh, manufactured by Asian, Company originally Japan uh, in uh, 1960, and then uh, 1970, most of the uh, this uh, product was manufactured by Taiwan. This company. So this is the beginning of the globalization of Taiwanese company, 1970, right? And so at that time. Uh, more and more U.S. company, manufacturing company, they move to
to Taiwan. They moved to Taiwan. So 1970, there are many uh, industrial Rome, Rome uh, built up, uh, built up uh, in Taiwan. So more and more U.S. company, European company, Japanese company set up their uh, subsidiary in Taiwan, and more and more local uh, Taiwanese company uh, they uh, right uh, run up at that time and to accept the the spillover of the technology and management practices from this big company, Western multinational company, right? Like so this is the development of economy of Taiwan, right? Globalization, globalization. <coughs> However, uh, from uh, 1970 to 1990, yeah, this the the very uh, uh, um, prosper, uh, prosperous uh, uh, situation, right, in Taiwan. But in 1990, when China come up, right, when China opened their door to welcome uh, the foreign multinational company to invest there, uh, many Taiwanese company went there. Just as you say, they want to find the cheaper, cheaper cost uh, uh, location. Yeah, and at that time, uh, Taiwan. Uh, some Taiwanese com big, some big, big Taiwanese company, they not only uh, uh, go uh, went to China, but also went to United States. United States, they want to uh, compete with the Western modern company in USA, in Europe. You know, Acer. Acer, yeah. Originally, Acer is the supplier partner of uh, HP, IBM, no? but in 1990, Acer decided to uh, become a, a branded, a branded uh, a computer company, right? So, so they uh, uh, not only set up their manufacturing site in China, Philippines, Malaysia, but also they uh, set up their foreign subsidiary in USA, okay? So now you can find that for the large company, their globalization is more aggressive, more aggressive. Uh, but uh, for the small company, their globalization uh, is more, uh, I think, this kind of a stable, stable, right? The stable strategy, a stable strategy. This kind of uh, uh, a different strategy, different strategy for uh, the cooperation of the different size company. Okay, so now you find that after 20 years, China, many China company rise up, right? Like uh, Lenovo, you know Lenovo, yeah, and Huawei, you no know, Huawei the mobile, the mobile, um, and higher. You know, higher, uh, higher uh, appliance, the uh, uh, foam, uh, the foam appliance company, right? Yeah, the air condition, refrigerator, and the uh, washing machine manufactured by higher China higher. China higher now become the number one foam appliance company of this consumer electronic product. You know. The air condition and uh, refrigerator and the washing machine. Okay, so now many China company they go global. They go global. Huawei, higher Lenovo, right? And many uh, uh, oil company, even uh, the China uh, Petrol uh, uh, company they acquire. Canada oil company, okay, uh, and some uh, acquire the Australia, Australia uh, mining company, mining company. 
So when this uh, China multinational company go global, okay, they should learn how to manage uh, managing the international manager, right? Uh, uh, most of this international manager was uh, Caucasian, right? Foreigner, right? Another the, the Chinese people, okay? So you can find that who is globalizing, right? Who is globalizing? Right. Large company, medium and small size company, right? And not only from the developed country, but also from yeah, this uh, emerging market country. Okay, so we can say this is the era of globalization. Now, what is driving uh, this interest, right? What driving this uh, of globalization? Why? First, increased travel, right? Increased travel. Hundred million people travel across national border every year for business and pleasure. Yeah, did you uh, go to the the university uh, gate near that's near the beach? Do you, do you work there? Do you find many buses? Yeah, do you know who <laughs> take the buses? You know? Hmm? Sure, many in China <laughs> travel, right? The tourists, the tourists, they travel to Taiwan, you know? Uh, every day, almost uh, uh, 90,000, uh, sorry, 9,000, 9,000 travel from China. Kaohsiung, Taichung, Taipei, <laughs> or Taipei, <laughs> no? This kind of the route. So every year, more than two million travel from China to Taiwan. Okay, uh, increased travel and a rapid and extensive uh, global communication. Yeah, because uh, this uh, global television, right, music, movie, tele communication, right, internet. Yeah, the world wide web. Even now, it's very easy, right, to get the information, right? This uh, uh, real information, right? Quickly, uh, what ha happened in USA? Pah, quickly, uh, come to you. Okay. If we want, if we want to uh, do business in global market, yes, you should use this kind of the. Uh, Global communication, uh, you know, Gangnam, Gangnam style, do you know? <laughs> this uh, PSY, <laughs> Gangnam style. Why he becomes so popular, right? Because he know how to use this uh, global communication, right? Uh, <laughs> and free trade, free trade. Trade between country and within region of the world is uh, constantly increasing. Right? A trade agreement. There are many kind of uh, uh, free trade agreement. Okay, <coughs> yeah, they uh, decrease the trade barrier and open market. Right? Often local and uh, national government go even further with the tax incentive and free trade on free trade on. So. China, uh, Taiwan signed uh, this uh, uh, free trade agreement with uh, China. Uh, we named it uh, ECFA. ECFA you know? So uh, after signing this kind of agreement, uh, more and more Taiwanese products right, can uh, be uh, transferred and export to the China. Uh, Market very 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 quickly, right? Even the the incentive of the tax, right? Yeah. And
and now more and more Asian country set up their free trade, right? Free trade Rome. Now even now, Kaohsiung they set up a free trade Rome. You know free trade Rome. If you are you are a manufacturing company in Taiwan, you can uh, set up a small office, just an office, just an office in this free trade room, right? So you can export, export your product by this, this, of, this office, right? by this office. And this office contact the global customer, okay? So all the product, all the product uh, exported by this store, by, sorry, by this uh, office, right, will be free tax. And very uh, fast, the fast track, the fast uh, uh, a cu a customer, you know, the customer, uh, the customer track. When this product was uh, exported to China, the China, China will assign their a custom officer, you no, know, to work here, work in this free, free test. And so all the product was uh, uh, there was a uh, uh, boarded, right? Boarded the uh, on this uh, ship, and uh, China, the China officer, the custom office officer. They will, I uh, give the the agreement. They uh, are admission, right? You can now your product can can get a fast track to China. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. So the free trade. More and more country, more and more company, they want to uh, join this uh, free trade. Right, mechanism, mechanism. Okay. And I remember last time I say, even you international student, you can walk, got a walking permit in this uh, free zone trade. Right. No limitation. No limitation. Even you are uh, a, a in international uh, student. Yes. You can get a permit. Get a permit to walk here. But cannot walk outside. No? Outside. Okay. Education. Improving education around the world is enabling firms everywhere to produce world class products and service. Uh, this also makes it possible for firms to produce and offer their products and service everywhere using local talent. Mm -hmm. Local talent. M more and more U.S. Uh, and Europe uh, university, this uh, rep uh, reputed university set up their branch, right? Their branch, branch university, right? In China, in Singapore, in Hong Kong. Do you know that? Uh, so many Western universities set up their uh, school, this uh, branch school uh, in Asian country, in Asian country. So uh, previously, many China students, they like to go, right, to uh, study abroad uh, and get their degree uh, in United States, in Europe. But now, because uh, more and more Western universities set up their branch school right, in China, Shanghai, right, Beijing, so more and more China students they don't they don't need to study abroad. They just apply to enter this uh, uh, university, right, this university. And more and more international students apply, apply to enter this uh, school, this university in Asia. 
uh, in Asia. So yeah, now you find that within this uh, Asian country, right? And uh, the Western uh, universities up here, and more Western students come here, right? And China students apply to enter this university, and they study together, right? To learn this cross culture, right? Competence, right? Yeah. And to uh, develop their coach culture awareness. Okay? Good? Right. The new style, right? New style. So this makes it possible, right? For firm to right to uh, provide their uh, service using the local talent. This use, this local talent can be also become right? Also become the in global talent, right? Global talent. Migration of large number of people. Migration. So millions of people move to other countries to work. Right? To work. Now recently my my son, my first son, right, uh, moved to Dubai. Dubai, you know? Dubai, right? Dubai. Yeah. More and more uh, international manager work right, in other country, right? Other country. Okay. So, do you know how to apply the job in Taiwan? Or internship in Taiwan? You don't know, right? Yeah. There's a website uh, of uh, uh, the trade department of our economy ministry. They had a branch office in Kaohsiung and then website. So if you want to know this, go to the IB office. They have this website and you can uh, enter the website to find the internship opportunity. And every year they, uh, there will be some seminar whole for this uh, international students internship. Okay. Knowledge sharing. Global enterprise export their management philosophy, uh, management philosophy and uh, technique, technology, product and service around the world. As I mentioned to you before, right? Uh, main, more and more Western company uh, come to China, uh, come to Taiwan, and their technology and their management uh, practices uh, spill over, right? Uh, to many uh, local uh, company, okay, then can uh, by this kind of large sharing, more and more company can do this uh, uh, international business, okay. And pressure, pressure on cost, yes, like you say, firm are always seeking low cost. This has led led to uh, outsourcing and offshoring of business activity and process. Okay, search for new market. <coughs> wow, right? Who is the the biggest new market? Well, the biggest new market. China. Yes, China. You can find the opportunity if you want to go. <laughs> no, yeah. Mm, just uh, work there uh, for you no know, first in uh, first uh, for, uh, first six months you you can uh, learn how to uh, not work here not work how to deep there <laughs> uh, no just as just yourself no to deep there <laughs> okay and. Yeah, after one year, uh, you met friend with more Chinese colleague, okay, and then you can know how to work with them. Yeah, so everybody in the next year you went to work in China, spend one more year, right, to stay there, 
来 ，stay there。OK， s u m m e r of our EMBA 啊、uh, alumni， 啊、uh, they have a company there。Uh, two days ago， 啊、uh, one of my student EMBA s、uh, student arise student， 啊、uh, he call me， 啊、uh, do you remember？ 呃、uh, last year， Natalia， 啊、uh, can here to have、uh, her internship， now。Uh, we try to find her to work in Russia. No, there is a IB student come from Russia and have a、uh, one month internship in China of this company. Right, for this company. So this company a CEO call me. Oh yeah, where the、uh, she got a degree? Yes. So、uh, can she work for us?、Right. Uh, they want to set up the. Russia office, yeah, Russia office. Okay. So, yeah, as the China market, uh, rising up, and quickly, uh, uh because China government want to uh, develop uh, their uh, domestic market, yeah. So they welcome more and more servicing company. And a high tech company, right? To go there, right? Yeah. So this time, uh, China, uh, Taiwan signed the servicing trade agreement. Do you know this? Do you know? Any Chinese student here? Yeah. Fu Mao Xie Ding. Do you know? No. The servicing trade agreement. Yeah. Because now more and more Taiwanese banking company, banking company, right? Banking company, they want to set up their office in China. Okay, so you know in China there are some regulation, regulation、uh, for the foreign、uh, banking company. First, you cannot you cannot set up the branch, the branch. You just can just set up the office. You cannot do business. You can just、uh, collect the information, commercial information. After three years, set up branch. No, yeah. And when you set up branch, some business you cannot. No, some business are limited. You cannot do that business. Okay, you can only、uh, do business with the Taiwanese,、uh, no customer. No. So after three years of the branch business. Then you can do business with the <laughs> China customer. There are many many regulations, but if、uh, we sign this kind of the、uh, free trade agreement, okay, more and more protection and more and more convenience, right, will be provided by China government. Right. Okay, and the、uh, homogenization of culture. Integration of culture and values through the impact of our global communication and the spread of product and service has led to the common cons consumer demand around the world. Okay. No Starbucks coffee. Do you like here?、Uh, near the beach, right? Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, one Starbucks coffee there. Nice view, right? Nice view. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> homogenization of the service, the culture, right? Yeah, it's very、uh, okay. So many Indonesian didn't come here, right? Did you get used to the local environment? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. E-commerce, e-commerce. If a business has a website, its business is global, right? Yeah, you know, in China, uh, Taobao Wang, no, wow, Taobao Wang, e-commerce, e-commerce the、uh, company, uh, is the number one e-commerce. I think now it even become the world number one Taobao Wang. Oh, because the、uh, 
most Chinese young people, young people. And these young people, uh, I, 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 I cannot say they are rich, but re really can uh, afford, uh, no, they can afford many, uh, no, their daily need. Okay. So how do they sh uh, do, do, do shopping? No. First, they go to the store, right? Uh, just uh, to bruise, to see, mm, what kind of product I like, right? Book, right? Or any uh, product they like. And then, after they uh, check like this, and then they go to the website to order, right? To order. So Taobao Wang, Taobao Wang, yeah, this company, right? I think the, this is richest. The owner is the, uh, is the, the most wealthy people. Uh, Ma Yun, you know? Ma Yun, uh, Mr. Ma. Wow. The dumb, this the top one uh, uh, rich people in, Ch in China. Okay. Think about this. Every day. Wow, a lot of business, right? A big entry. So, not even any China banking company can, can do more business than him. Okay. And even China, uh, Taobao Wang, have formed a partnership with uh, Amalong, no? With Amalong, yeah, in USA. Yeah. Okay. So think about it. What are some of the difficulties small company face as the company internet? Yeah. That the small to medium sized enterprise face a different set of challenges than the large potential enterprise when it go international. I will leave this question for your good discussion today. So I want to make sure everybody get entered the group, right? Okay, so uh, I will stop the, the uh, lecture in 10.30 today. And then uh, you had a 20-minute break and enter the group to have this, okay? Question, discussion, okay? Uh, what are the some difficulties small company face at the company interview? Yeah? And the small to medium sized enterprise face a different set of challenge than a large modern enterprise when you go international.